I'm not concerned if you uh, I I believe that as Mr. Draghi said very forcefully Italy will uh, move forward this time as well so in I don't expect any problem any concern coming out of the elections and yet the personal aspirations of some of the leaders of some of the parties brought down the Draghi government early as well do you fear those aspirations will lead to Italy having a more conflicting position within Europe in the short term no I don't think so I think that uh, Europe has always been the environment in which the, the right decisions have been taken in the country and this will be the same as we move forward uh, and uh, to be frank, uh, if you look at what all parties across the spectrum say about Europe, there is no, I don't see any more challenging being in Europe and exploiting the best of Europe by the Italian politicians. So you're not worried about comments about renegotiation, unfunded spending commitments, potentially creating a problem for your sector now, sir, the banking sector? Uh, yes, of course. The, in, in the election period, by definition, you will hear all politicians asking for more spending and no one mentioning how to fund that spending. And this is normal. So once, however, there is a government in place which has, in theory, a five years' time horizon in front, then we will come to tough decisions. Uh, Italy has shown to be able to master a very narrow path, if I may use that expression, between fiscal consolidation, which is absolutely necessary, and support of growth. And actually, if you look at the recent figures, Italy is doing a little bit better than expected. As far as the banking sector is concerned, the banking sector has done a great job over the past few years in improving the quality and size of the, of the balance sheets. Uh, it will continue to do so. It will participate actively to the process of banking consolidation although this is and banking union although this is sort of going slowly now too slowly for my my preferences